Trevor Chalabar, Trevor Chalabar signed with Chelsea as an under-9 and progressed through the academy to the men's first team, as his brother Nathaniel had done, after progressing through the youth ranks, he made his first foray into professional football in 2018, the first of three loan spells, before being brought back to Chelsea as a member of Thomas Tuchel's squad at the start of the 2021-22 season, where he played a fine piece with a mixture of mountain and passion at the back, Chalabar. Couldn't have dreamed of a better start to Chelsea's senior squad after breaking into Tuchel's pre-season squad in 2021. After impressing the German coach, he was retained for the season upcoming tournament and celebrated his debut by raising his strength. As his buff performance in his years helped the Blues defeat Villarreal in the UEFA Super Cup on penalty kicks after the match. Draw 1-1, there was more to it than that as his first appearance in the Premier League also brought his first goal for Chelsea, as he curled a low ball into the bottom corner to complete a 3-0 win over Crystal Palace. At Stamford Bridge he found out how much the moment meant to him when he succumbed to his emotions and knelt down in tears as his teammates rushed to eat with him, this was followed by another Premier League goal at Southampton's group stage, before he scored his first Champions League goal in a 4-0 win over Juventus, but that was how seamlessly he fitted in and saw home alongside his teammates. More experienced teammates Tuchel's defence is really eye-catching. His versatility can also be seen at times, as he provides an extra touch in midfield when injured and COVID-19 has caused our squad to decline at the start of the season. Winter It's a play he's made several times during his loan spell, albeit on the right side of our defence, where Tuchel alternated Chalabar with the more experienced Caesar as Piliqueta for much of the season, however, the brutal winter schedule took its toll with several weeks on the sidelines with a tendon injury in January, followed by a period of exclusion from the squad, meaning he was not included. Saw in both matches in Abu Dhabi as they won the FIFA Club World Cup the following month, however, when we returned from that tournament, he was soon back to his best, notably playing through pain despite a nasty injury from a test. High challenge he needed stitches to help us keep the series clean in the final penalty shootout of the Carabao Cup defeat to Liverpool. He was also nominated for Premier League Player of the Month for his contribution to a clean sheet in that competition, on top of scoring the opening goal in a win over Norwich City, a slump in form, which Tuchel said was inevitable for a youngster in his first Premier League campaign, meant he would be absent for some time but Chalabar is back the hero departs during the critical phase of settlement. Another back-to-back -back tie at Wembley against Liverpool. This time in the FA Cup final, between a win over Leeds United and a draw with Leicester City, saw them secure third place in the Premier League. Chalabar had to wait for his chance to impress when the 2022-23 season began, playing just once in the first two months of the season, however, Wesley Fofana's injury early on in the home win against AC Milan gave Chalabar his chance, and it was a chance he seized, playing every minute of the match in league and Champions League until the World Cup break in mid-November. At the start of that run we had kept six clean sheets in a row, with Chalabar impressing at the heart of the defence, Chalabar featured less in the new year, especially in February and March, but he has returned to the side under Frank Lampard starting seven of our last eight league games as well as playing all 90 minutes. The last minute of the match felt like a Champions League defeat to Real Madrid, Trevo played mainly in a defensive position throughout his school years, mainly as a right-back and centre-back but also occasionally as a midfielder. He made 10 appearances for our youth team when I was still a schoolboy, making his debut at 14 and playing for the under-21s before signing as a scholar, Going into the 2015-16 season, Chalabar featured in every match en route to another FA Youth Cup final for our young players and was a regular in our U19 side which secured organisers the UEFA Youth Championship. The following campaign saw him become a reserve team regular, starting 25 of the 28 rounds at that age. He also featured in all eight matches and scored the winning goals in the semi-finals and final helping them win their fourth consecutive Youth Cup, during the 2017-18 season, 
he was named on the list of reserve players for the men's team many times, including in the FA Cup final against Manchester United. His versatility was exploited by development team coach Joe Edwards, who developed the technically gifted youngster into a holding midfielder role throughout the second half of the season, including during we reached the semi-finals of the Checker Trade Trophy. In the summer of 2018, it was reported that Chalabar would be on a senior championship loan at Ipswich, where he made 44 appearances and scored two goals. His performances in central defence and midfield received praise although the Tractor Boys were eventually relegated. In August 2019, it was announced that Chalabar would spend the upcoming campaign trying to regain the championship with Huddersfield Town. Before joining Yorkshire, the defender signed a new contract with Chelsea, committing him to the club until at least 2022. A mainstay in the Terriers' defence, Chalabar has played 37 times in throughout the season, helping Huddersfield Town retain the league title. 2020 saw Chalabar go abroad for the first time, agreeing to join newly promoted League One team Lorien. Splitting playing time between centre-back and midfielder, Chalabar's good performances caught the eyes of many. In total he made 30 appearances and scored two goals to help Lorient maintain its place in the first division of French football, international career. Chalabar captained the England U16 team when the Young Lions won the Montega tournament in the 2015-16 season. A regular across England's age groups, he captained the U-17 team at the European Junior Championships in 2016 before the U-19 edition of the tournament in 2017. Chalabar was first called up to the England under-21 squad for their European Championship qualifiers against Turkey and Kosovo in 2019, playing full-time in both matches.